Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mike's World's Reactions. Um, if you guys didn't see the other day, I did a reaction to uh, I didn't know there was Crips in Hawaii, which were from uh, Crip Mac, you know. And in that video, he was in uh, the KPT, which is a real rough one of the rough projects in uh, Honolulu. And so I figured I, I was giving some insight on that one. I figured I'd give an insight on this one. This is another video from uh, Street TV, I think. Uh, Halava Crips, which is a whole nother different area, you know, different uh, housing projects located in uh, Honolulu, Oahu, um, deep. There's hundreds of them, you know, there's a lot of different housing projects in uh, Honolulu. So let's go ahead and uh, react to that. I'll give my uh, insight, my glad cha, you know. Yes, sir. Welcome to the 96701 Halava, where the West starts, baby. Schizo Lok, baby, a.k.a. Skits 99. You standing in Halava housing. Um, I represent HMOB LC. We got OGs, BGs, LGs, YGs, LCs, MCs, YCGs, baby. <clears throat> and I just wanted to say also, uh, make sure you can check these guys out, Street TV. They got a good channel. But also... <coughs> In that Crip Mac one, I noticed those guys were saying that they're one of the biggest housing projects. And they're big, but it would have to be contested with these guys also. A lot of the housing is also is huge. Like I said, a lot of it, it looks a lot like Chicago housing. It's, you know, 20, 30, 20 stories high and it goes for miles, you know. Oh, yeah, we got several other Crip hoods. Yeah, but we, we stand alone, yeah. We stand, we, we took we took our own name and <coughs> we, we know we don't beg for allies, we don't beg for nobody's help. That's that's the rep we hold. Well me, I'm a mixed Hawaiian. I got Puerto Rican, Filipino and Korean. I got the Hawaiian, Filipino, Korean from my dad. Like I was uh, saying, I had mentioned my sons actually are Hawaiian, Hawaii Kanos and mixture of stuff. But I also wanted to point out and I had said before most people in Hawaii on the islands are a mixture of a bunch of stuff, as you can see, you know, what he's saying supports that. The Puerto Ricans from my mom. But a lot of homies out here is uh, mixed with Hawaiian and something, you know, like some Puerto Rican or some Filipino. But we got a lot of Filipino in this hood. We, we, we dominantly Samoans and Hawaiians. This gang is mostly Samoan, Hawaiian, but we got black, we got Micronesians, Filipinos, we got whites. They don't, they don't like the tourists to know about these places. So, this is a, this, you know, every place got their dark places. You know, every place got the ghettos. Every city got gangs. But we See, I want to reiterate what he just said. You know, it's funny. A lot of people always say, uh, oh, Hawaii, you know, grass shacks, tourists. And like I said, and yeah, that's the image they put out. But look at these housings, you know. Uh, just check out my other video on the, the housings with China Mac. You know, these are big, huge housings that, that are pretty much outlawed. A lot of places in the United States still uh, can stand here due to codes they don't have to keep up with. And very third world, you know, no electricity in some of the areas. They, they just got to wash their own clothes. And yeah, a lot of, like I said, a lot of uh, brutality, third world type gang members. It gets rough. It gets rough. Like he said, everywhere has them. But this is, uh, but as you can see, this place over here, Hawaii where he's at, you know, it, it, it's a place with less law, uh, less gang injunctions, less co uh, housing codes, which makes it, work, uh, you know, a lot rougher than certain places. We one of the oldest, we one of the oldest and very known. Now it's pronounced Halaba. Yeah, Even Halaba. Even though it's a W, like Wa, but. Yeah, cause in Hawaii, in Hawaii, the language uh, in certain places in Hawaii, the W is pronounced with a V. Hawaii. Like Hawaii. And like, you know, Haleiwa. Haleiwa is with a W too. H A L E I W A. But it's pronounced Haleiwa. Just like our hood, Halava. Hawaii always been like this. They always, they always been like this. Been around since the 70s. Just in order to not scare away the tourists, you know, they don't talk about none of this shit. Yeah, you know, I, I'm surprised to see housing projects so close to Waikiki. 
It's only like, what, 15 minute drive? Yeah, they can just walk on over and go get their hustle on or whatever. And, and, <laughs> and look at this place. It's huge. It's huge. Yeah. Uh, That's why I was saying when uh, I was like, oh, hold up. When Crip Mac and, and uh, the dudes he was rolling with were like, oh, this is the biggest housing in, uh, in like Honolulu. I was like, oh, I don't know about that. I, and then there's Mayor Wright and there's a bunch of huge ones. Like they go for like a couple miles, so I was thinking like, man, nah, I don't, I don't know about that. Oh, okay. What's up, guys? And even though there's a lot of crip, like this is a predominantly a crip housing, and there's another a couple of the other one was crip. There's also a lot of Hawaiian blood gangs uh, that were all red, and there's predominantly blood housing projects also. <laughs> yes, uh, H A L A W A. So all these kids know what they know the business. Is, uh, they know what it is. They right? know halava mob. Their mom and daddy's probably H mob. <laughs> I don't know whose kids is that. What's that right there? One of the baby sets. Somebody wrote it on the wall. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> mobster, mobster crip. Mobster crip is one of the, one of the baby sets. One of the, one of the younger sets. And what else? It's, it's right. And you can you heard him say that this set was predominantly started in this housing project in the seventies. So you can imagine it's multi generational, hundreds of members, like he said, fathers, sons. Um, you heard him say mobsters is one of their baby sets. So they you, you heard him saying all the different ones. So they probably got you know five different little crews and whatnot with this one uh, halawa mob. So set younger than mine actually. All right here is uh, every street, every street in Halava start with 99. So anything you see with 99 on it is ours. You could be at a shopping center. If we in that shopping center and there's a 99 on it, you know, we can, we can by right, we're supposed to be like, what you doing here? Wrong side, bro. Wrong side, bro. H-Mob. <laughs> I take you to the building I used to live. Like I said, and you can see it starts right there, but these are like this is one of the ones it goes for <sighs> community revolution and progress. Oh, it's probably like a building, it goes all the way from A to Z. Yeah, I plan, I plan to you know plant the seed into younger folks around here because I'm doing the music. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good with the music. This is my building right here. Oh, right over here. Yeah, 26. This was my house before. My homie, me and my homie was just sitting here. I just see homies just running down, running up the path. Everybody running around. I was like, what the fuck's going on, man? Ah, oh, man. So then when the other neighborhoods try to come here and invade and try to come and rumble us, you know. Sometimes, you know, you just could be just done lifting weights and your arms don't work. Like, oh, shit. Time to go bang, you know. So uh, what, what neighborhoods would try to come through here? Well, some neighborhoods from other towns, like, you know. Well, not really other neighborhoods. It's really yeah, rejects from other neighborhoods. It's really like, because we know all the other neighborhoods, right? We know all the neighborhoods that bang the bloods or other rip neighborhoods. We know who the one, the real ones really are. So a lot of times it's their rejects. They'd be teaming up with each other and coming to ride against us. You know, people from, from towns in Kalihi or towns in, you know, other West towns. And we got clicks in IL that try to ride against us too. Like this is the IL city, right? But this is we on top in IL city, Halava, Halava. And I feel like we kind of on top in the other cities too, because all those guys got a twist for come against us, and I never did see people ride against us like by by themselves. But that's just from what I seen and what I witnessed. So why do you think all these kids are just gathering around right now? Wow, it's like and what's unfortunate <clears throat> people can uh, reiterate this you know it's happening in a lot of large cities la chicago just the same in uh honolulu um a lot of the the men the adults are encouraged to stay away from the the homes due to all these kids and their mothers and it's like single mother homes a lot of times because they'll lose their their hood they'll lose their section eight if there's a man in the house especially if he's a felon or if he's working you know, they lose that. So therefore they got to stay away for these mothers and these kids to have somewhere to live, you know? Sad, but it's true. 50 kids over here. <laughs> 
<clears throat> and these are going to be a lot of uh, Hawaiian, Filipino, like he was saying. Um, the other one, the housing projects that Crip Mac was at, that's going to be a lot of uh, Samoa and Micronesian. <clears throat> Different gang. You was that kid at one time. I was one of these kids at one time. Cause... Yeah, I'm out here really doing it, bro. Just really doing the music, trying to push the hood forward, too. Cause... Mm -hmm. Well, I got myself out there already, you know what I mean? I get, it's my music radio, Skits 99, high profile, official album available on all sites. So how long you been rapping? So, oh, about long, uh, since high school days. I was always recording, but always getting locked up, you know? I never felt, I, I was, I always used to fail to punch this music into history. Because every time I come out of jail, I lose all my possessions, yeah? So what's the jail like here? Is it a, a county jail? What kind of jails they have here? Oh well, yeah, we get we get county jail. We get O Triple C. On this island, we got O Triple C. We got a women's women's correctional center, and right up the hill, we got Halava Prison. That's like the penitentiary here. If you do like over five years, you can request to get housed in the mainland, and they got facilities up there with all Hawaii inmates. That's going to be Arizona, Saguaro. If you guys missed it in my last video, I was just saying my brother-in-law is over there. Big fool, 6'5", you know. Um, but, yeah, that's where he's at. That's where they house him. That's where a lot of, like you said, if you're doing 5+, plus, they'll send a lot of the Hawaiian prisoners from Halava. They'll send them to Arizona. Just crammed up in there. Like Saguaro in Arizona, a bunch of Hawaii inmates run that shit. <laughs> Look how many kids are running around there. There's like 50 of them, 60 of them, just like any housing project. <clears throat> I mean, we wasn't all part of H Mob right away. We was always just cripping for Halava, you know, just going on and jacking the people in the shopping center. We used to do a thing called bus stop job. We go fucking patrol all the bus stops. Anybody who's not from Halava get hit pocket searched or whatever. <laughs> little kid shit, little kid shit, you know. What's up, girl? What's up, big homie? You can see that's the homie kicky spot. And they got it all hammed up, all tagged up. Everybody kicking anywhere. They probably kick back, drink their beers, you know, their turf. What's going on, though? I hear that here in, in Hawaii, there's not as much guns and no shooting. shooting. No more shooting, but I think total to is pretty much as grimy as you can get, you know what I mean? I mean, like, the groups, fucking bats, knives, homemade weapons, you know what I mean? So how long has uh, Halava Bob um, been known around here? A while, bro. Just before I was born, for 40 years, huh? 40 years, 40 years, see yeah, I was right. That's the, that's the estimate that I could think of. What's all this writing on the wall behind me? Yeah, I don't know, cause there's a bunch of different, you're gonna see H. So like I said, the seventies, <clears throat> so that's pretty deep and it's a good while, you know? Think about that. Mob all that shit all over. Yes, you oh. it's not. It's some other shit. I guess other people come through and try to write their own shit too. Right? Yeah, who acts off the seat? H Mob Crip Gang. Yes, sir. Let's see it.
Yeah, it was about, all about money. The, the people that was dealing with me, the people that had to tolerate me when I moved to, when I moved out of Halava, I had to live in Kalihi for five years. These people was used to seeing Crips every day. These guys was bloods from other places, you know, different, different housings, but they're used to seeing it because we got a lot of SOS out here, a lot of TCG out here. So they're used to seeing those guys all the time. They're used to, but we, since we don't have allies, I, love I like it the man. way it is now, though, bro. You know what I mean? Everybody stay in their own hood. Everybody do their own thing. Everybody get along. I mean, for the kids, huh? Yeah. So the kids can grow up in a better life, huh? I mean, not knowing, not too much knowing about what the gang life is about, though. You yeah. know what I mean? What's this, uh, hand sign here? H for Halava. You can flip them and make the M, H, H, M. What do these three dots mean? Well, it's one of our, one of our marks, cause depends on what part of your body you get them in, cause my big homies, they got it on the same arm as us, but they got it more down here. They BG. It sounds like to me, Vida Loca. <clears throat> Left elbow, I'm an LC because the my crazy life dots. Oh, okay. You might see it on the girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, he is talking about the same thing. Crazy oh, life. The girls, the criplets around here, they wear it on the left eye. So we got the OGs, BGs, oh, LGs, stuff. YGs. Original gangsters, baby gangsters, little gangsters, young gangsters. That's all my big homies. It's all the generations before me. Much love to my big homies because I'm an LC because little crip gang. Much love to my baby homies. My baby homies are mobster crips, MCs. I got my baby homies, the YCGs. Yeah. It's a lot of love over here, bro. We solid over here. We keep it 100. The day you disrespect Halava is the day you get no respect from us. Until then, bro. Shout out to everybody. 808 State, baby. Halava. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Man, you guys saw that right there. That was one of probably like 20 or 30 housing projects right there in Honolulu, Hawaii. You know, another real one of the real big ones right there. Uh, Halava Crips, Mob, Halava Mob Crips are the ones out of there. There's like I said, I'll show a couple more housing projects with some bloods and some other people like that. So uh, Mike just dropping his clad shot, his insight on what he knows and, and keeping you guys entertained. Mike's world. below so you can give us your